Welcome back to Sierra, everyone. There's a whole lot standing between where we are and the deep zone. Duly noted. Like another wall and the entire mid zone, for starters. It's not as simple as driving there. We can't control the instability any more than we can control the weather. At the height of Lim R&D, thousands of us lived and worked here in the zone. So we built Lim stabilizers to make certain sectors and roads a little more predictable than others. It was the Duly only noted. way we could operate as a live research compound despite the instability. And yes, the same technology that destabilized the landscape in the first place. Lim technology was always a double-edged sword from the beginning. We're going to put those stabilizers to work and clear you a path. The old Very observation well. towers surrounding Sierra Mortar have a map of the stabilizers in that sector. Mind swinging by and finding one? I would not mind. Not at all. Though one thing I notice is we are definitely on the map from a different direction than last time. It is the same map, so that answers one big question that we had, but we are approaching it from a different uh, different point. Or at least that very much seems to be the case for me. Uh, I was asked, why am I not using my flare gun? And the simple answer is because the zone is giving me a healthy supply of flares, but not a healthy supply of flare gun. I, I'm assuming it's got ammo. Maybe it doesn't, actually. You know what? We should test this out. In before I discover that, oh, actually, I was just being a fool the whole time. Wouldn't it be the first time? Uh, let's see what else we got over here. A crate. Ooh, food. Yes. Food that I'm going to nom right now. And some more rubber and odds and sods. Fair enough. Nothing too terrible. Uh, nothing we need to worry about for now, at the very least. This place seems fairly calm, so I'm going to take my time. Uh, we did pick up this, though, the SSR meeting minutes. I wonder if we could have a look into that. Maybe now, maybe later, though. Uh, let's go ahead and add that to our checklist. Let's pop in. I wonder, is it going to be in the logbook for us to have a look at? Uh, yes, it will. I think. Or maybe not. Oh, yeah, we are. SRR meeting minutes. Not not, not SSR. Uh, the meeting minutes. September 16th, 1949. Agenda. Celebration of the founding of SS... Oh, sorry. SRR. I keep saying SSR. I don't know why. What our future will look like. Addressed by Dr. Ophelia Turner. Open ideation sessions with consultation from Dr. Ophelia Turner on experimental setups, arising concerns, proper safety procedures, handling and protection of in limb experimentation, action items. So, uh, society agreed to a regular monthly meetings on Friday evenings. Dr. Reginald Stanley Robinson to take notes and format future minutes. AOB and matters arising. Tackle... Oh, sorry. Tea cake... Tasting, courtesy of visiting professor Sir Anthony Gould, FRS. All right, fair enough. Uh, so nothing too big. Why? Why won't it let me back out of this? I saw it. I can escape out of there, but I can't escape out of that one particular menu. It just kind of keeps me locked in there. All right. Well, we've investigated this little area. Now, we're in a per perpetual safety zone, so, uh, or rather, this perpetual stability zone, so I'm not going to rush too much in this area. The general consensus in the comments seems to be... Oh, manual fatigue. Uh, it seems to be largely that we should uh, take our time in perpetual stability areas. What's this? Manual fatigue. Uh, let's have a look at you. Fatigue. All car components suffer wear and tear, but this is even more pronounced in the zone. Eventually, almost every component is going to need replacing. And sometimes all you can do with a worn-out part is dispose of it. Oh. Is something just broken broken? Let's have a quick look. Uh, that one has a marker on it. I think it's been repaired too many times, basically. Anything else? No. Oh, it's bald. Let's have a quick look at you, then. All right, okay, ball tire. This tire is all but trackless. Smooth as a... Wait, this wouldn't... That, uh, this shouldn't be smooth at all. The only thing such a feature of tire can do are cause skids, as some verse. Okay. 
Well, we'll have to uh, have a look around. Hello down there, I see you. Yes, yes, yes. And I also see whatever you are. Yes, yes, yes. What do we have here? Hidden out. Uh, okay, well, let's... Uh, talk. Why is that still on my hopper? Uh, okay, we've got some more of that print. That's nice. We do need to collect as many of those as we possibly can because they don't last as long as I'd hoped. Much to my great, great dismay. All right. Well, let's be on our way then. Now, down there is a Zumi, uh, which I'm not too interested in playing with. I do want to grab whatever this is, though. I just realized I hadn't grabbed it yet. Let's also take uh, a load off the engine. Or the battery, rather. Why? Why is that just randomly there? It seems very peculiar. Is this just by itself? I'm curious. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, Glittering Boulder can just stay there by itself. I have no intention of rushing off into goodness knows where when I have a job to do. And that job is to loot. Uh, Alright, let's carry on. Shall we go down this way? Mm, no, let's let's go towards the, uh, the cluster of houses proper this time. Also, the, I've got an ulterior motive. I really want to scan Cappy. Assuming we can, it must be done. Hello there. Uh, we want to take this route. Goodbye. Enjoy. Uh, what have we got over here? That uh, looks like a bit of a more interesting wreck. We have got... No, uh, it's just a regular abandoned car. Steel doors, though. Summer tire. Another summer tire. Another steel door. Alright, do we want to replace anything? I don't think we need to. I could replace this summer tire, though, I guess. Uh, steel panel, steel door, steel door. Yeah, we could totally replace that tire. Since I, d I don't know if there's anything else I can do with it, so... Alright, do we have the Liberator? Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and try and liberate the best tie that you've got. That one is not good. They're all not good, actually. What's the problem here? Um, I'm actually not sure. Does it just need a fix? Maybe it just does. Either way. Tunk. Alright, let's grab you then. And then I'll come back and scrap that other one. My mouse wasn't working there for a second. Bad time to lose my mouse. Alright, let's take you off. Come on, mouse. Not today. There we go. Yeah, it's just got a flat. I'll probably just break that one down, I think. Give me just a second. My mouse is very, very uh, resistant to moving the way it needs to. We can't have that. No, no. Uh, also going to need a quick repair. Pop. Perfect. Nice. Nice away. You are trying to scooch forward, aren't you? I don't want you to scooch forward. Not yet. There we go. Grab all of that. Now then, might as well take apart all of the steel over here. Yeah. Any other wheels as well. I mean, the steel plates seem to not show up too frequently, so I'm going to assume that for, the, for uh, future crafting purposes, we're going to want to gather as much steel as we possibly can. Oh. Uh... Anything else? I can take this panel as well, I suppose. Go. Right. Jobs are good. Uh, let's drop all of that off. Fair bit to drop off, to be fair. Right. I guess I did still have a uh, spare tire in the car, but I've still got a spare tire now, so there is a bonus there. Hello. Scusi. 
Alright, let's not drive straight off there, shall we? And while the radiation... I mean, I don't know if it does much damage to the car, if I'm honest. It certainly does a lot of damage to me without the car. But I think the car is a little bit more robust, as a general rule. Right, we're just down here, and then we turn off into the township, just ahead of Cappy. Here we go. Hello, tourists. I wonder what the deal is with tourists. What causes them to spawn? They certainly seem to migrate towards light. But uh, the spawning mechanic, I don't know. Like, are they more likely around places which had people living in them? Well, that's certainly possible. Right, I'm going to do a little bit of gathering around here. So, first one house on the other. Thunk. Yes, yes, I, I remembered that you can, in fact, kick things. Let's have a look over here. Some outside crates. Can't grind up the wheelbarrow. Not sure that that would be much point in it, even if I could, but... Kind of want to know if I can. But I'm curious, okay? Hello. We've got a backpack. Wow, this is a completely different atmosphere from the last time we were down this way. Got the TV over here. Me as well. Grab all those electronics. Yep. And then scout out the house. Hopefully we can get some more food. Certainly could do with a little bit more of a pick-me-up for my character. There we go. Ask and you shall receive. Though, go take it out first to be able to eat it. Omch. What else do we have, if anything else? Okay, that place looks completely sealed. I don't think I can actually get in there, sadly. Good amount of fabric here, though. So that was house number one. Well, since we're all way ready over this way, we may as well go into house number two. Can I just get through here? Yes, I can. Quite the little vandal I am. These... Okay, we're definitely seeing some of the benefit of the large backpack here, or the medium backpack. Now, I guess I could just go ahead and pop a flitz. It's getting a little bit darker. Still a tiny bit hard for me to gauge whether this is too dark or... But I think probably having a little bit of extra light wouldn't go amiss. Let's pop in here, see what we've got. Uh, I've got a backpack. And some more food that I'm probably going to have. Uh, let's grab everything out of here as well. Right, you can go down on the floor. Grab up the phone and the radio. Some batteries. Don't say no. Need to check on top of this as well. Gamers never look up. Ha ha ha! Perfect. Uh, right, let's go ahead and gobble down that food. That should bring us back up to top health. Extremely pleased with that, considering where we were before. Right, so that's two houses on this side. Uh, we can go grab this one. Then we'll move on over to the uh, house on the far side. We'll, we'll be thorough this time, I think. This phone. Who just leaves random phones out on the side? I mean, I guess, you know, this is the zone, so... Normal, normal uh, behavior is not to be expected, but still. Right, we've got oodles of fabric. I don't think we're going to struggle to make any uh, particular clothing items moving forward. I'm extremely happy about that. Right, we've got three houses in this side as well. And I think we may as well check them all out. Grab some extra flares, or replace the one I just used up. So many... Pieces of clothing. So much fabric. We've now got two stacks of it. Okay, this is this is what we wanted from our loot runs. Also, my mouse is still a bit weird. 
Do you ever get that with your with your mouse? I probably just need to clean the the bottom of it. It's a it's a laser mouse, so you know it's not like I the uh, there's any kind of mechanism to get clogged. But I think uh, just the pads on the mouse are a little bit uh, scuffed, so I need to clean those up properly so it can drift on my gaming mat properly. There we are. Right, let's go and check out the house down here. Avak no longer respects fences. Um, what the? They can hide inside? Are you going for my car? You are, aren't you? Yes, you are. You absolute little scoundrel. Get off. In fact... Don't be alive anymore. Okay, duly noted. They can hide inside vehicles. Disapprove. But it's good to know. So I may want to... Uh, well, I'm, I'm probably not going to park the, the car further away from Rex when I'm taking them out. But I, I do need to be ready to chase after something that... Uh, goes for the car, but it was very interesting. I couldn't interact with it, I couldn't scan it at all until it had decided to attach to the car. So it was on a mission. Go. Oh dear. Oh dear, this is moving. This is, this is coming my way. Uh, right. I kind of feel like I need to be back at my vehicle? Like, everything is expanding out. Uh, am I in a storm? No? Yes? Sort of? Okay, is there a way that I can go around this? Oh, this is very... I'm... I feel trapped. Okay, I, I seem to have a very specific route out. Well, that was unexpected. I, I am no longer welcome there, apparently. Oh, well, maybe it'll go back to normal by the time I get back. We'll see. I'm not inclined to stop my uh, gubbins gathering for that, though. I can always race through it, I imagine. Try to get to the far side. Get back in the car, which will have uh, adequate shielding from the radiation, but... Yeah, I wonder if uh, this is perhaps some sort of storm effect? Because this is a hell of a lot more radioactive than it was mere moments ago. It does seem that the effect is retreating, though. So maybe, yeah, maybe the, uh, whatever was going on was the effect of a storm. You know what? I'm, I'm curious enough. Let me race back to the car, because we can check out on the dash to see if a storm was just passing through. Because I do need to know that. So I know that that effect in future is something I need to be prepared for. A lot of this game, right now, for me at least, is working out what can happen, so I can protect myself from it in the future. Was that a storm front? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Fair enough. Well, I'm here now, so I'll just drop off all of the gubbins. There we go. Can't drop off those gubbins, apparently. Can I rotate these? Thank you. Look, I play Backpack Hero and Backpack Battles. I can I can Tetris my inventory much better than this game can, apparently. My scrapper is about out, though, sadly. I will be disappointed when that's gone. Nothing there for me to take part. There is a chest over here. And a uh, tourist checking out a building. Okay, this is not great. Oh, damn it. That was not what I meant to do. Let's uh, just get that going. Anything up there? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I'm going to need to make another one of these. This one is about gone now. It's done us well, though, considering how far we've gone. Yeah, I know, I know. Danger, danger. Okay. Moving on. Now... Which ones of these had I managed to search? I'm a little bit 
disoriented because I had to basically skedaddle when the radiation was closing in. I think we haven't checked this one out. Maybe we had. No, no, we haven't. This is exactly like the other one we were looking at. I wonder how procedural the procedural generation in this game is. For areas and loot and such. Whether it's just tiles. Wouldn't surprise me at all. Another bit of lore. Theories. I'll take that. Can I open that? No, I need to hold. There we go. There is number four. Take a good long look at the z that zone. All those botanists, biologists, chemists, Arda is using our backyard as a test bed for terraforming. They're reshaping our planet right under our noses. They're changing the oxygen content of the air. They're training giant electric moles to magnetize the soil. They've got robot dogs, and everyone who lives in there gets to enjoy it first. The rest of us dumbos don't know what's coming, and one day, when they pull that lever, they'll change this whole planet. But I'm ready for them. I know how to protect myself. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Okay, CC, but, uh, hmm. Not sure about that one, buddy. I uh, got a little bit of uh, noms there. I did take a bit of radiation damage, so I'm going to gobble that down right now. No reason not to. Grab this, and then we're going to head back to the car. I think we've been away long enough. I'm sure it misses us. I miss the car. And all these noises in the zone are a little bit, uh, a little bit disquieting. We should absolutely make a new scrapper, though, as a matter of priority, because this one is very much not long for this world. I don't even think it's going to get through this steel door. No, it didn't. You know what? I'm not going to bother taking out the rest of that steel door. Let's just get over to Cappy. Do a scan, see if we can't find these maps that we need. Yeah. One thing I will say about the game, and that I haven't really uh, showcased properly up to now, or, or I guess mentioned up to now, is I really feel that the game has a lot to do. I, I'm constantly doing something. It feels like I'm always on the move. All right, let's make one of these. I would then make like three med kits, definitely. They will stay in my inventory at all times. That's a good one. All right, we've cleared out some of the room. All right, then. Sorry about that bunny problem earlier. Yeah, there were a couple more houses over there, but nothing too bad. Did the... Okay. Not sure about that, but... There we go. We've got to be over there. So we can go up through this area and straight on along, I think. Maybe. Oh, sorry. Put us into uh, park there. Do I ha can I navigate through here? No, we're going to have to go around, I think. Take this little route up and around. We've got a... Uh, Something, something over there. I forget what those anomalies are called, actually. And for that reason, I'm just going to get out and have a quick look. Right, uh, sorry, a left, right. Yep. It's fine for now. Well, I'm now concerned that I'm not going to be able to get up there easily. I guess I could follow up along those pipes, maybe? I might be able to climb it, but I'm not at all confident that the car can. But there may be a little route through there. Yeah, it looks like there's a route up there. Right, we're back to Tourist Central. Right, let's turn that off. Hop out. Yeah, we should be able to make it up there, I think. While I'm here, though, I'm just going to grab the sta stability anchor. You go ahead and gobble down all that energy while I take a look up here. Oh, some more 
gubbins. I think one of the other nice things about having like a system of like if it's perpetually stable, I'm going to take my time. Is that way if someone is more interested in like story progress, um, they know that these episodes are going to be long ones, and uh, I'll try my best to remember to add in chapters and stuff like that for any big events. But for the most part, you can. Oh, okay. You can expect that I'm going to be here for a while. So now I've got another spare scrapper. Okay, I wasn't expecting that, but I'm okay with it. I can put pry bars in there to get. I've no idea what that is meant to be. Weights, apparently. I'm not entirely okay with this. I just want you to know. I'm just going to have to leave that one there, unfortunately. Could you not be right next to my car? It is awkward. Like, super awkward, actually. But, you know... Yeah, yeah, I see you. Go over there. Well, I was actually trying to get you to move in that direction. I was not expecting that to cause them to explode that well, but all right. Fair enough. Oh, hi. Sorry about your friends. Actually, I'm not. They snuck up on me. That's on them. But this area is still quite radioactive, it seems. Uh, right, we're going to pop inside, see what there is to see. Pop. Health is dropping though, so I can't afford to dally over long. I say with absolutely no real intention of taking of uh, taking precautions with this. I want the loot. The loot is everything. Really, another one? My lord. Glass. Don't need that. Let's have a look back here. Some more gubbins. Yeah, this ended up being quite a good place. Down to 71% health, though, which is not great. Have you. Right, the road flare is going to be gone by the time I get back to the exit, I imagine, but that's fine. Any more scallywags? Whoop. Hopefully not. Right, well that was that sort of well, they're already back there. My god they spawn quickly. When they when they decide that they want to be in an area, they are everywhere in that area. What the heck is going on out here? Oh plasma. I accept. Get me through there. Back to this truck. Just give this one a quick once over. And there's another one down there. And then we are going to go and check in on Cappy. And then, hopefully, go and uh, pursue the actual quest objective. No promises. Yeah. More food. Fantastic. I do like that it goes for the food first. That is very nice that it doesn't grab the med kit when the food might be enough welcome visitors oh, nice very polite i feel welcome do you feel welcome even more Got be wow that's okay um hmm all right well we can silly me i need to move down like that there we go View across, thank you. Lab reports three. Well, we want to know what those are. Oh, MRE meal ready to eat is a complete self-contained unit of food. Allegedly equivalent to a reasonable dinner. It certainly contains nutrients and may even feature distinct discernible flavor. <laughs> but what I want is this. Lab reports. 
I'm delighted to report that the radioactive shielding has been a runaway success. We barely had trace readings inside the landing module, the command module, and the cargo module. We can now confirm that we have created the most radiation-resistant material humanity has ever known. We've shipped the last of the panels and materials back to Arda Engineering for further analysis, but I see no reason they can't be used again on the next mission. The degradation is minimal. I'm excited to show you the full analysis in person. Meet you in the Arda cafeteria on Thursday? Oh, fair enough. Also, thank you very much, Low Light. There we go. I would have missed that otherwise. And I got my flare back. Thank you. Let's grab the enemy as well. My lord, we are getting crazy good loot in here. Though, sadly, I'm going to have to leave something behind. What am I going to leave behind? Uh, what's my health? Eat both of these. I ate the MRE. No. I want the cam. There we go. Managed to stop before I ate the MRE. So apparently it isn't quite that clever, sadly. It will still go for some things that you don't want it to. Alright. Let's go drop these things off, and then I'm going to uh, wander on foot up to happy. I'm... Ooh, actually, it might be very radioactive. Wouldn't be surprised if it were. Um. What the heck? Why did a stability anchor just fall out of the sky? Huh. No sodding clue, but... There's a proof. And yes, I'm going on foot. In the middle of this storm. I never claimed to be smart. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've warned you all that I'm not. Let's have a gander, what we got. Got some more gubbins. The fact that my... Uh, Inventory is now basically completely full is a problem. Ooh, wait a second, what's this? Lead shielding. Scrapper is recommended. Okay. We've already checked, it's not a radiation storm. I don't need to worry about it. Well, I probably do need to worry about it, but I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, yeah, there's lots of stuff here. Nice, we're getting new material this time. Lead platelets. Oh, this might be in reference to the radiation seat shielding that they were talking about. That would make sense. There we go. Uh, do I want to break down all the computers as well? Oh, wait. Damn it, that was meant... I'm fairly certain I was meant to use the uh, vac on those, wasn't I? Forgot. Oh well. We'll have other opportunities, I'm certain. Alright, let's take all of this down. These electronics are going to be important to us, I'm sure. There are a lot of them. Wow, okay. Okay, I need to offload. Come on, let me through... There we go. Actually, we should probably have uh, activated the gate so that it would lower. Can I drop things off? Yes, I can. Sort of. We are at capacity, though, realistically. I don't think I can really afford to explore everything as thoroughly as I would like. At this point, there's no point. Can I get through again? There we are. I'll gather what I've scrapped here. There's no reason not to. But if I should need, you know, a wealth of certain resources in the future, I'm sure I'll be able to get them. Can I get close and scan you? Is this super dangerous? There we go. Yes? Is it not going to show me in the logbook? Do I have to get super close? 
Do I have to get crazy, crazy close? I do, apparently. That is too hot, though. Well, that's deeply disappointing. It's saying it's an anomaly, but I can't seem to scan it. Maybe I need to come back here with good radiation shielding. Uh, probably. Uh, let's see if this works. Oh, yeah, it does. Nice. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a bust. I'm not gonna throw my life away just trying to get right up there and scan it, but this is gonna be something we have to come back to. Because I don't know how close I need to get, and that was high degrees of radiation. It's also the same color as the full-on red storm, so... Mm, my instincts are saying, come back when I'm better equipped. Alright then, Cappy, you get to keep your secrets for at least a little bit longer. Let's go this way. And we are going to relocate. That being said, I wonder if I can jump through it again. It's possible. Can't drop anything else off. Alright. Done about as much as we can do here, so at this stage, I need to be up there. So let's mark it down. In that direction, basically. Can I see anything in the rear view? Doesn't look too rough. I really don't want to be reversing here, though, I'm going to be honest. With the propensity for tourists to just decide to be like, hey -o! I think... Really? And that quickly, it's gone? Maybe I should go back. No, it was the radiation that was worrying me, not the storm. Right, well, I'm basically turned away completely from the direction I need to go, so let's try and head up this direction around the back here. Let's turn the lights on. There is... Oh. We're still very much losing light. Did I fix it? No, I don't think I actually had the tools for it. That's right, I needed to research those tools, didn't I? This is so not the right way to be doing this, but here we are doing it anyway. It's okay, Carl. I trust in you. I do. I believe you can make this happen. It's getting a bit too steep, actually. Go on. Just a bit. No? How about... Oh. We are just sliding. Let's try and control the descent, then. Okay. Honestly, the car is just moving by itself at this point. I'm not even touching the controls. I don't know what to make of that. Other than maybe the car is just saying, Yeah, no. No, I... I I'm in control of my own fate. You might be the driver. But I am literally the car, and if I say no, then no it is. Fair enough. Alright, well, we'll have to go down the road then. That shouldn't be too much of a drive, I don't think. Can go up through here. The only problem is that we might have to come back this way, which would be a little bit of a pain, but oh well. Very much am looking forward to being able to fix these lights, though. Didn't really appreciate how much of a bother they would be dimming like that all the time. Head up. Oh, wait, no, we're going the wrong way. My bad. Sorry about that one. Usually got a bit of a better sense of direction in games. There we go. That was the road that we needed to take. Of course, the light was shining there. 
Manually refueling the car. Hmm, yeah, we're getting, getting low now, aren't we? Well, there were a couple of wrecks along the way that we can probably make use of. Plus, we've got a spare, uh, spare fuel canister in the car. Hello. Can we take this route? Maybe. It is a possibility. Yeah. We just need to turn up here. It's a bit of a, a bit of a sharp turn that one, but nothing too terrible. But it's very interesting that there are. We I've not seen the tourists anywhere. They were they weren't like buildings previously, like proper signs of life. Ooh, wait a second. We are going off road needlessly. Oh well, I've already done it now, so I may as well commit. Since it is still going in the right direction. There we go. We're going to want to take the turn off around about here. The next wreck that we see, I'll pull over and siphon some fuel, I think. Probably would be wise. Uh... Looking at the tires on the car, I don't think many of them are okay right now. On that little dash. Let's get out here and have a quick look. That one's okay. No? Okay, never mind. They, are, they do look alright. Something screaming off in the distance, though. Not sure how I feel about that. Gobble down some food. And... Uh, do we want to do any crafting right now while I'm here? Possibly... Do we need anything, though, is the question. Repair putty actually wouldn't be a... Well, no, we've definitely got that. Let's, let's not craft it unless I need it. for the fuel. We are going to need that soon. My bad. Sorry. So, put that back on. Also, also, let's turn that on just so we've got some light in here. Ah, a fuel tanker. Really? Luck is on our side, it appears. Let's actually see what we're doing. <laughs> How bloody glorious. Truly. The zone protects. Anything else we want? Summer tires. Let's go grab that flare so I can properly look. Uh... Yeah, just regular summer tyres. Nothing much going on here that we really need to grab, I wouldn't say. Goodbye, Flair. Thank you for your help. Probably going to need to charge the, uh, the battery again soon. Off we go. I wonder if you had a good idea of what a quirk was, whether you could fix it out on the road. Like, if I ended up with a light repair kit, whether I'd be able to use that and fix the quirk. Okay. Let's not play with that abductor, shall we? In fact, you know what? Hey, abductor. There you go. There we go. That should keep it busy for a little bit. At least I'm hoping it will. Yeah, there we go. Bye bye. It seems so happy. 
when it's got its flares to play with. No. Bring it back. It brought it back. Will you go and play with the flare? There we go. There we go, yeah. It's just playing with the flares. Honestly, I'm starting to feel... Tight, but you can tighten up security protocols all day only for one disgruntled employee to program in his name for fun and mess it all up. Anyway, I see. the overload code is 4735. Find that stabilizer map. 4735. Right here. Oh boy. I was assigned to clean these towers out every time the guards rotated. And things I saw. Let's just say that keeping a watch on Sierra day in and day out did not make for a good time. I didn't envy those Fair guards enough. one bit. I need to go and have a quick peek at this though. Off road tires. Oh, that's what I've been waiting for. Oh. Very not okay off road tire. But oh, yeah! Alright then. I am on board with this. I'm going to need to go and get rid of some of these items. I'm going to have to offload some of these items so I can get an off-road tyre. Uh, one of the big problems I've got right now is the amount of uh, random gubbins in here. Uh, can I drop off... I can dro probably drop that off for now, yeah. Oh, those are lead platelets. I see. That makes sense now. Well, yeah, I suppose the, the weight symbol does kind of make sense, actually. Did I pick up the right thing? I did. I'm going to need a light, though. And are you still somewhat okay? You are. Perfect. Off-road tire get. Then we're gonna come back and grab the other one. Then I'm gonna replace some of my tires with them. Not sure which ones, but don't roll too far. Hopefully that hasn't pulled back the other abductor. I do like the fact that if you position it correctly, though, you can get multiple goodies with one shot from the uh, Liberator. Thank you. That is something I very much appreciate. You know what? Since I'm here, might as well. I mean, you know, warning me that it's a crafted item when I didn't craft it. I mean, everything is crafted by someone. Well, I mean, or something. Alright, I think I'm going to replace the... I have no idea whether a station wagger is forward or rear wheel drive, but uh, I'm fairly certain it's not uh, four wheel drive, so... Either way, let's get these sorted. I think I'm going to have to say goodbye to both of those. Yeah, let's have a look at you. Both flats, that's fine. Gonna need to make another ceiling kit. Also fine. There we go. And you. Yeah. All right. That was that was a very nice and uh, much appreciated upgrade. Punk. All right. May as well get rid of these then. I'm fairly certain the spare tire that I've got in the car is in better quality, so no reason to replace that with these. Yeah. Uh, rotate some things around, just clear up a little bit more room in here. Yeah, they, this one's going to be gone soon enough, I think. Don't have too much to worry about. Uh, as ooh, actually, for, as for the ceiling kit, I do want to replace it. I need to stop smacking myself with the door. I managed to do it for so long without walloping myself with the car door. And now it's the only thing I'm able to do, apparently. Most vexing. Uh, we're going to swap these around because I can get through this one a little bit sooner. Right, okay, that's 
done. Now, is there anything outside that we need to be aware of? I'm really vexed that I could... I was close enough to see that it was an anomaly, but not close enough to scan it. That is a, a real pity. All right, that's what we want to do. Oh. Apparently, this is one of those games where my character remembers the code, so I don't need to. I appreciate that. Oh. Anything else outside? Any... No, okay, fair enough. Right, we could get flares for gears. That seems like an awful exchange to me. Oh, literally massive map on the table. Get to that in a second. What have we got to look at? Okay, stabilizer scanned. I'm overlaying the map with the available routes near you. Okay. There you go. Found three sector stabilizers that'll do the job. They're not too far, so I've added the location to your route. The access road will lead you straight there once you're ready. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a longer trip than I imagined, which is a problem because I am very, very low on space. Wasn't really banking for this to be a three-route run, but all right. Uh, well, in that case, we are definitely going to grab as much energy as we can before we leave. Uh, that being said, I could just leave, but uh, why? Why would I? But uh, for now, definitely not going to be stopping to grab things unless it's like plasma, which is always incredibly useful and very, very uh, valuable for me. Uh, right, so... Well... Do we want to drive back? Yeah, we may as well. Let's go back the way we came. Then we're going to be taking this route up. Heading over, grabbing that energy. Down to grab that one and then out. I think that should be uh, fairly easily uh, easily done. Though before we do, I would like to uh, charge up the battery a bit. There we go. Oh, actually, it's not too bad. Don't know why I had the impression that it was. Hmm. Either way. It's done now. Do I want to give a bit of repair putty? Nah, I think we're I think we're okay for the most part. All right. Okay. Well, let's get out of here then. Can you find a channel? Let's go back to that one. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna need to. Uh, Take that turn, and back the way we came. Lights back on. Well, that does kind of make us uh, vulnerable to the abductor, to a certain degree. Still, I don't think it's too rough. Do you prefer me having the, the light on in here again? Uh, I, we talked about this, and I got a couple of people confirming that they also like to have the... Uh, have the the light in the car off for nice long night drives. It's nice and atmospheric. But for the sake of the YouTube video, is it a bit easier for you to see the controls in here? Or is it actually easier to see them when they're directly illuminated by the fact that everything else is so dark? Let me know. For now, we'll drive with it on so that you've got uh, a basis of comparison because up to now, I've mostly driven with it off. Uh, nothing on there that I'm going to go grab. I don't think. What the heck is going on? You little scoundrel, you. I could see it. It was wiggling. Yeah. Yes. Gallywag, you. I should have known. Should have known. I thought for a second, though, that what I was looking at was a bouncing bunny in the trunk. Completely forgotten about the wriggling wrecks. But oh well. Uh, this should be a relatively easy trip down here, because it looks fairly clear from what I can see. That being said, obviously we just got caught off guard by a wriggling wreck, and might get caught off guard by another one if I'm not too careful. 
Also, calling this a road is staggeringly generous. Oh, wait a second. There we go. I can only imagine what it must have been like for the Arda employees working here. Because clearly there has been lots of shenanigans, and with the anomalies that we've seen already, they would have had to have had road repair crews out here pretty much constantly. They would have lived out here trying to repair things up. Uh, you're another one, aren't you? Yeah, I can tell. Don't think I can't. Now the question is, how do I deal with you? Hmm. Well, this one I think will be a case for the flare gun. No? Apparently not. Alright. Can I interact with you in any way? Hello? Maybe don't, don't threaten the literal undulating mass of metal that seems able to summon creatures to attack me. Uh, can I... Ooh. I need the electrician's kit to get in there. Uh, recommended tool hand. Alright. Can I make the electrician's kit? I don't think that's something we've researched. I'm willing to check it out, though. Uh, electrician's kit. No. No, I can't. But, look, I've got to be thorough. Can I zap the lock? Now, one wouldn't assume that that'll make the lock work, but it might break the lock in a way that I can then get through. No. Super sadness. Hello. You like a flare? Hey, uh, over that way. Whoop. Go play with the wreck. That might actually work. It killed the. Uh, it killed the tourist. Two plasma there. All right, we're gonna have to go around here whilst uh, our friend over there is enjoying their life. Okay, turn off the lights. Shouldn't have had those on, really. Uh, we're gonna have to go around. Certainly gonna try to go around. There are lots of tourists here now. Right. Let's get back out onto the road. Go check out what we've got over here. Some more fabric. I'm going to need lots of fabric, it seems, for anything clothing related, so I'm getting a little bit concerned about the doors. We have exposed our car to a fair bit bit of shenanigans, so let's just top it up if it's like one quarter gone. We've got enough to make plenty of repair putty. And we're going to have another zone as well, so that was very much not banked for. Lights looking like, oh, they're doing okay. Uh, some attire there could do with a bit of a touch-up. Panel's fine. The armor door needs a good bit of work. But it is doing crazy, crazy good work so far. Right, gonna need some more. Hey, putty. Thank you. Let's get this sorted. And this steel door as well. Right, jobs are good. Actually, with that much room in there, I can probably drop some things off. Yes, I can. Marvellous. Pop these down. There we go. Right, making progress, little by little. 
Uh, battery's looking good. Uh, let's go on down to here. Then we need to take a left. Do I? Dare I? I kind of think I will. Zoom, zoom! Whoa! I just got an achievement for reaching 88 miles per hour. I wonder if there's shenanigans that might go off if there's a storm going on nearby at the time, because that was glorious. I loved it. Hello? Let's grab you. Nothing in there, really. How incredibly disappointing. Grab a little bit of everything, and we'll make our way on. Alright, well, I'm very glad I didn't hit the other one of those, because I would have gone straight into that thing. Alright, we need to take the left here. It looks like we've got a... Ah, right, yeah, this is where we... This, we literally came into the opposite side. We came in from the opposite side previously. So this is uh, the direction we approached last time. And it looks like everything is more or less in the same place. All right, we're going to go... Oh, that tire needs work. We may have put it through a little bit too much punishment there. But we'll go and grab this energy. But since I'm now on a very different clock, I'm not going to spend too much time gathering all these things around here. They're just gonna, we're just going to have to wonder what they were. Sad to say. But I'm not leaving the energy behind. That is definitely coming with. I wonder if there's a limit, because I'm seeing a gauge fill up here. Go. That's all the way around, please. That being said, it probably would have been a bad idea to pop that in while I was on that side. What's wrong with you? Mechanics kit. That I can fix. That ceiling kit. Still not how you fix a loose wheel, but we'll go with it. Let's grab you. Okay. Right then. Ow. Hurts. If, oh, right, okay. Let me in, please. Because that wasn't pleasant. Leave this, shall we? Oh my lord. One just doesn't expect such barbarism. I will have a peek in what's in there, though. On the plus side, the battery probably just got recharged. So there is that. Drop that down there, because I intend to... Oh, my lord, why? Why are you giving me such good things? I was going to hoover all of that up, but no, I can't now. Burnt orange paint. And a new decal. I approve. Let's be on our way. Car is actually looking quite nice, though. We've done a good job of repairing it. Just in time to get, you know, shocked. Is that a Kai kit? No, I don't care to look at that one. There is another cache over there, though, that I want to grab. Because it's this is where we get the, the decals, and I need more stars! That's incredibly disappointing, but alright. Alright. Next location is just down here, and then beyond that, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump, and we're out of here. I am so tempted to just return to base, considering how much gabions we've got. But I'd actually like to find out how much we're going to need to sacrifice in order to bring back whatever we're being sent out for. Or if there's anything to be brought back. I'm sorry for having to turn the lights off there, but uh, with the abductor right next to us, it felt like the smarter move. 
Uh, we can turn this back on now. There we go. There's the energy just down ahead of us. But yeah, we might not actually need to carry anything back. This might not be that kind of mission. Hello. You know what? I'm just going to go all the way through. And I'll walk back. Did we just get Circular Sword? I think we may have gotten away. Just in time. I was expecting it to come from over there. Rather than going back and forth, but just be a one-way sort of thing. No. Naughty. Alright, well that actually works out for me. I need to find out what you are. What the heck is going on? Oh, it literally was grabbing it and pulling it in. Now, oh, let me pass, please. Being right next to the uh, lightning rod, probably not the best place to be. Let's go. Let's get away from here anyway. Well, that's the first time I saw the lightning rod actually do its job up close. Alright, now that we've got a few moments, let's have a look at that one, shall we? Oh, refueling the car. Once your fuel gauge, you don't want to be caught with an empty tank. You can siphon fuel for, uh, on the go from scattered fuel ba uh, barrels and abandoned vehicles. Fill your tank if you can, and put surplus fuel in the fuel can from the trunk. Do you note it? But, Minuteman. Teletype auto script. Arda. Reference hopper. J. 1140 TAC 211163. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that you find my anger and frustration difficult to deal with, even intimidating, but I wonder if you'd react the same way if any of your male colleagues came to you with a similar complaint or dissatisfaction. I've been on hold for two hours, and I'm calling to warn you of a new danger that is, is very much in everyone's interest to know about. Do you understand? No, listen to me. Write this down. We're seeing more and more anomalies capable of electrogenesis, of producing electric energy like an eel or a ray, but at remarkable levels. This is enormously dangerous, and I don't care about what secrets Arda wants to keep. This is about people's safety, their lives. This has nothing to do with me trying to muscle in on research or put myself back on some half ass program. It's about you, idiots, understanding the risks you're hiding from people. Now let me send this data through. Oh, you want to talk about theories? How are you on limb wave interpolation? Or Patel's theory that Arda has twisted half the peninsula into some kind of Klein bottle, where the inside is now the outside as well? Or do you want to put me through to somebody who is actually interested in making things happen? Wow, okay. I That was very interesting. Also... Uh, talk about turning the peninsula into a Klein bottle. Hmm. I, I greatly appreciate the shenanigans going on there and the frustration, but can we talk more about the whole Klein bottle thing? Also, we've definitely got a flat. Did we get a flat by being electrocuted? Oh no, we probably got a flat by being... Yeah, because I was too, uh, too slow on the draw. Getting away from the circular saw. That makes sense. The infantry hurts. Oh, sorry. There we go. Right, let's go. Having to pass up everything is, is also hurting, but you know what? Part of being a Gubbins gro Goblin is knowing when you've got enough. That is also knowing that there is never enough, but there are times when you can't carry any more, so you have to accept that what you're carrying is temporarily enough. Until you can empty your gubbins into the gubbins grotto, and then you can come back in goblin mode, everything else that was up nailed down. But, right now, sadly, we are temporarily at enough. This is a very uncomfortable place to be. Why are you stood there staring at that pole? How very peculiar. How about not just jumping out at me in the middle of the road? That's very rude. Also, deeply, deeply unhappy about this whole area. This feels excessively dangerous. Uh, this is a gas stop. You know what? It would be silly of me not to while I have the opportunity. So, 
At risk of being assaulted by tourists, let's just hop back up. We actually lost quite a lot. That's unfortunate. No. No. Discipline. We must excise discipline. Okay, not too far to go. Do I want to zoom zoom? No, <laughs> that is a trap. Wow. Okay, zone. I appreciate that. Well done. You put the zoom zoom right in front of a uh, of an obstruction that probably would have cleaved the car in half if I'd gone through it. Well played. Suddenly accelerating to 88 miles per hour into the safety rails. Yeah, probably not great. Uh, I've got another one down here, though, and this one looks a little bit clear. No, it's straight into a, another traffic pot. Wow, this game is just evil right now. It knows I want to, and it's preying on that. It's very unfair, in my opinion. All right, but we're at our destination, it seems. Taking a couple of knocks and scrapes, which hasn't been ideal, but... Considering we had this whole scenario sprung on us, I'm fairly happy with what we've managed to do. Let me pop a light. I'll drop that down there. No, that's rolling far too far away. I want to have a proper look around. How are we looking? Drop that one down as well. Alright. Not looking too bad, I think. Yeah. I think we can make this work. The fact that we've got off-road tires now is a huge bonus for us, I think. Huge. Would look bad. <laughs> oh my lord, it looks so wonky from this particular angle. Wow, okay. That... That wheel... Yeah, no, it doesn't even look remotely like it should be on our car. Nevertheless, I think we've managed to get to the end of this uh, zone in fairly good condition. My health is up at 85, and I've got enough materials to build everything for now. But that's going to be it for us, I'm afraid. I will see you in the next episode when we get to this area, which is going to take us six hours, which will pro probably put us like right in the middle of night. Okay, so it's definitely going to be a uh, gamma adjustment time for that one. But looking at this, another perpetual stability zone. However, we're not going to be hanging around to grab much of anything, because I can't. Uh, but there is, of course, there's loads of things. Maximum stuff for me to find. Game, you're trolling me so hard right now, and I can't even be mad at you. Well, that's going to be it from me for now. I hope you have enjoyed today's episode, and are looking forward to the next. Do let me know down below if you have any further idea on what our car's quirk could be. And I will hopefully see you safe and sound on the other side. Until next time, do take care.